What's up, YouTube? It's Zabdo's TCG here, and welcome to another TCG DAC profile video on my channel today on the menu. Great task, the new milling archetype. But before we dive into this DAC profile, feel free to leave a like if you enjoy the content and let me know which DAC you want to be seeing up next over here on the channel. With that being said, we're going to be talking about Great Tusk. We're going to be playing four copies of Great Tusk. Great Tusk is a new card from Temporal Forces. Temporal Forces releases on the 22nd of March, and it's going to be a new archetype based on milling the opponent's deck. So, what you want to do is actually discard the top four cards of your opponent's deck every single turn. You actually discard the top card of your opponent's deck with the crust collapse attack but if you're playing an ancient supporter during your turn you're actually discarding three more which means every single turn you want to be discarding four cards from the opponent's top deck. You always want to be going second with this uh, archetype so you can get that attack off ASAP. So a very strong milling archetype and the good news is uh, you're actually a little bit uh yeah iron hands proof unless they're playing future energy boost capsule but uh, other than that iron hands with amp very much is not going to be touching your one price pokemon which in theory means the opponent will need to knock out uh, six of these monsters we're going to be uh, of course having super hot in our deck to help out with that and uh, there's of course a new ancient supporter uh, in the uh, yeah temporal forces uh, set as well, which means every single turn we're playing an ancient supporter, and then uh, we discard the top four cards of the opponent's deck, making it hard for them, uh, of course, to win games because we're going to be using cards like counter catcher to trap opponent's Pokemon. We're going to be using, uh, of course, all sorts of disruptions, so the opponent will hopefully not be able to attack every turn. Meaning, uh, Great Tusk can mill a little bit more cards. So uh, what else is in this deck? There's two copies of other. Uh, Pokemon here we have Greninja for additional draw support helps out with Sa uh, Sada's vitality as well and then Mimikyu being immune from attacks from EXs and V Pokemon is very he helpful definitely let's see up against Charizard and uh, they have their uh, Charmeleon prized well then the Mimikyu can just run away with the game which is super nice indeed so uh, one Greninja and one Mimikyu to patch it all up and these are the only Pokemon in this list this gives me a little bit of the Rand vibes back in the days of Noble Victories let me know in the comments as well if you've been playing uh, since that uh, set was legal uh, all the way back in black and white. Also, be uh, sure to check out our sponsors which make this video possible. There is of course Dragon Shield. Uh, these are Dragon Shield sleeves. They are the best brand to protect your beautiful cards and uh, I always use Dragon Shield there. You can use the coupon ZAPDOS5 over at DragonShield.com to of course get 5% off on everything. Uh, okay, let's move on. Uh, we have uh, four copies of Professor Sada's Vitality. This is our uh, uh, first ancient card uh, that we're going to be using, actually, actually ancient supporter. If you use Professor Sada's Vitality, of course, the uh, uh, Crust Collapse will be able to discard four cards from the opponent's deck instead of just one. So uh, four copies of that. And then the other... Uh, ancient supporter in this deck is going to be Explorer's Guidance. We're going to be playing four copies of that. This actually is a cool supporter. Look at the top six cards of your deck and put two of them in the hand directly. Discard the other cards. So uh, pretty similar to like Chloris's experiment in that way. But uh, you only get to keep two, but you do dig six cards deep. And the cards do not go to the Lost Zone. They go to the Discard Pile, so you can recover them. So... Uh, other than that, we're also going to be playing one copy of Penny. I think Penny is actually pretty cool in this deck because we're actually playing uh, Palpats in here. Of course, to recover the Ancient support, but sometimes uh, you can, of course, Penny loop a little bit to make sure the opponent doesn't take a prize card when necessary. So you can have that additional turn uh, when you don't find any of your Ancient supporters. You just let yourself get the damage and then you Penny it back up. And I think Penny looping with Mimikyu is also pretty hilarious for sure. Now let's talk about the item cards. We're going to be playing four copies of Nesball. Uh, this actually finds uh, a basic Pokemon from the deck and lets, it, uh, lets you put them on the bench. You need to find your Great Tusks. You want to be having all of them set up. So uh, yeah, four of these. Then also a one-off of the Hasuian Heavy Ball. There might be uh, some of them prized. We no longer have Peonia to be uh, able to control the way we... Um, have access to our prize cards, but one heavy ball is definitely going to be sufficient because of the fact you do have three copies of Super Rod in here to recover your Pokemon if necessary. So a heavy ball can also fetch out a Greninja or Mimikyu when need be. Then we're going to be playing four copies of Urton Vessel. Uh, actually, uh, Urton Vessel is going to be helpful because it discards a card from hand and allows you to search your deck for two basic energies. Uh, it, it doesn't matter which uh, type they are, so uh, you can actually use it to find fighting type energies or sometimes psychic energies if you want to be going on the offensive with a Mimikyu, it is also possible in this list. And uh, the cool thing with uh, Urton Vessel is that it has synergy with Professor Sada's Vitality. 
Then four copies of Pokey Gear. This is going to be stitching up our supporter account because I don't know if you've noticed, but you always need to play an ancient supporter from uh, your hand uh, during your turn. Otherwise your milling strategy will be way too slow. Then for some disruption, we're actually gonna be having four copies of Counter Catcher. This is not to like counter catch something and take prize cards, but rather to trap opponents. You're gonna be trapping opponents so they're stuck in the active position. And uh, when they are stuck in the active position, you have an additional turn to go for the Crust Collapse. So uh, every single turn, you wanna be announcing Crust Collapse unless you're up against an archetype that only relies on V or EX Pokemon that Mimikyu can steal the show as well. Two copies of Trekking Shoe to dig a little bit deeper into the deck. Also has some synergy with Professor Sala's Vitality if you happen to discard an energy with the Trekking Shoe. Then three copies of Palpat. Palpat is going to, of course, recover your Ancient Supporters. Definitely necessary because, as mentioned, you need to, of course, uh, play uh, Ancient Supporter every single turn. So with Palpat, you do recover them. And the cool thing is this deck doesn't take any prize cards. So uh, if people Iono you, you probably will draw into with, uh, an Ancient Supporter. Definitely when you recover them with Palpat. Three copies of Super Rod as well, allowing you to recover your Great Tusk. As mentioned, there's only four copies of Great Tusk you can only play four because uh, yeah, playing five would be illegal. But with Super Rod, you can of course recover the Great Tusk. Also the same strategy is uh, here for Mimikyu. You can Mimikyu, Super Rod, Mimikyu, Super Rod. It depends on the matchup really, but I found it to be uh, also helpful against specific archetypes where uh, you can stall a little bit with Mimikyu when the opponent doesn't have an answer for it. Then a new card here is going to be Hand Clippers, allowing you to, um, this is actually a very cool card. Every player, yourself included, discards cards until they have only five cards remaining in hand. This will make sure that the opponent that, oh, I'm up against the mill deck, I'm not gonna be playing any card from the deck, I'm just gonna hold them all in hand. That strategy will no longer work because uh, you can uh, hand clip their hand, so they you, they actually discard a lot of resources. The cool thing is that, uh, like in the past, uh, people were holding on to a lot of cards and then spamming Iono against uh, uh, aggressive mill ar archetypes, but now with hand clippers, you can make that process a little bit faster. If I just have a little bit of an example, uh, let's say you're up against a Law Zone box deck and they have 12 cards in hand, you spam this card, they need to discard seven cards. So in theory, you're milling seven cards because they will not be able to recover them, which is super nice. Then some additional HP. I'm still in debate uh, a little bit because uh, this is currently playing uh, four copies of Bravery Charm. The cool thing is that Bravery Charm works on Mimikyu as well as Great Tusk. You might actually upgrade maybe one or two of these to an Ancient Energy Boost Capsule because that means you can also not get affected by special conditions. And on the other hand, you get a, a 10 additional HP. So in testing, uh, the 50 additional HP gets it to 190, which is a sufficient number, something like an Arceus with Trinity Nova with a DTE will not be able to uh, one-shot a Great Tusk, which in theory is fine by itself. So the 10 additional HP, I'm not too hindered with. So that's why we're playing four copies of Bravery Charm. And now we're also gonna be playing one copy of the Heroescape. This is an ace spec card. You can only have one ace spec card in your entire deck. So choose wisely. In this deck, I uh, am a big fan of Heroescape. 100 additional HP without a downside. That means Great Tusk with 240 HP. That's a lot to deal with, right? So that means you can definitely get off two uh, Crust Collapse before the Great Tusk goes down. So very, very uh, powerful indeed. Then for the stadiums, I have a split choice. I have two copies of Artisan and one uh, Calamitous Wasteland. This Calamitous Wasteland will mean that the opponent's Pokemon will have one Carlos Energy more in their retreat cost if they are not a fighting type. So uh, it only works for basic Pokemon. So that means you can trap something like a Luminion, a Squackabilly, so they have an additional retreat cost. And if they're stuck for a turn, you know what that means. Yes, exactly. Another Crust Collapse comes down. And then we have Artisan to fetch yourself a basic Pokemon. All of our Pokemon, except for Radiant Greninja, can be fetched with that. So that's actually pretty damn nice. All right. Then for the energy count, we're gonna be playing four copies of double turbo energy. The double turbo energies are of course necessary for crust collapse. So you don't always need Professor Sada's vitality. You can also rely on Explorer's Guidance to fetch a double turbo. And then uh, you're also off to the races by discarding lots of cards from your opponent's deck. 
And for the other energies, we're gonna be playing two copies of Psychic Energy here. That means that Mimikyu can also sometimes attack. Uh, I think that's a very nice strategy because if Mimikyu is not dealt with, specific archetypes will not be able to uh, uh, respond. And uh, you can then become an aggressive Mimikyu, helping the prize race a little bit because you're gonna be taking prize cards with Mimikyu as another way to win games. And then uh, four copies of the fighting type energies with the four copies of urgent vessel in this list. It's going to be way too easy to find these uh, fighting type energies. And as mentioned, you don't care about the um, doing less damage with something like the double turbo energies because of the fact you're not dealing damage. You're just going for milling the opponent's uh, deck. So pretty much this is the mill deck. So in the upcoming format, Temporal Forces, we finally have another mill deck. We had uh, mill decks in the form of Durant with battle styles. Way before with Noble Victories, again, Durant, and uh, yeah, now we actually have a control deck in the form of Snorlax, but this this is going to be an aggressive mill deck, so uh, yeah, have fun discarding your opponent's deck. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. Leave some suggestions down below in the comments which deck I should talk about up next. And also go check out our other sponsors. I already talked about Dragon Shield, link down below to get 5% off. There's also yourplaymat.com if you want to create your own custom playmat from scratch. You can head over to yourplaymat.com with the link down below and get 10% off your next order. They ship worldwide, so definitely check it out. There's also potownstore.com to, of course, get some TCG Live code cards. You can use the coupon code ZABWSTCG for 5% off. So if you want to buff up your TCG Live account, this is the website to do it. And last but not least, cardmarket.com for European players. You can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. Use the referral name ZABWSTCG. Thank you all for watching. I'll be talking about more decks uh, shortly. So uh, definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG epicness. Peace.